take any steps, including military steps and terrorist steps, for their own benefit. Dear colleagues, it's not Washington that is going to lecture us and teach us how to build relations, make friendships, and make plans for future. The African countries know by their own experience that it's not at all easy to defend their identity, traditions, and values, which is something that we share and have in common. Only sovereign nations may have a future. Without dialogue, there, there can be no trust, and without trust, there can be no development. We meet on a regular basis, bilaterally and multilaterally. Last November, the State Duma received an observer status at the African Parliamentary Union. It is of importance to note that during this conference, we have heard constructive proposals and suggestions that will provide an impetus to the development of the Russian-African cooperation in the interests of our people. We need to find new formats of interaction. In this respect, I suggest making the Russia-Africa conference an annual event. Parliaments should utmost. I hope it's going to be the case in future.